Hi, okay, I am so excited. My best friend since first grade is coming to town. So I wanna treat her to something that I can do well and that's very California. So I'm making guac. I do it pretty simply. I'm just gonna show you a few tricks that I have to make it the best guac ever because it's the best friend it's deserved. Oh. oh my gosh, she's calling me right now. She knows. She must know I'm talking about her. Okay, well I can't answer. I got dirty hands, honey, I got dirty hands. I'll see you soon. So first, when I cut the tomatoes, I just cut off the outside so that there's no seeds because you don't want that goopy mess. I said goop. I wanna make sure with avocados that you cut out that little, the little nipple. Because uh, it could knock your teeth out. I love red onion. Like I could eat it like an apple. Maybe not, but I love it. Jalapeno. Amber and I, for about two years, had a sleepover together, either her house or mine, every Friday. Lots of lime, and now we get one tonight. I'm kind of cheating garlic because I forgot to buy it, so I'm just putting in some garlic powder. Shh. I add a ton of cilantro because I love it so much. Who doesn't love it? <sighs> okay, let's listen to this voicemail from Amber. I'm just gonna put it on speaker so you guys can hear it. <laughs> hey girl, it's Amber. So excited to see you. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Just can hang out. The only thing is there's no cilantro, obviously. You know it tastes like soap to me. <laughs> I hate cilantro. Um, anyway, I can't wait to see you. I'm so excited. Bye. Love you. When we were in seventh grade, her parents went through a divorce. She lived with us. We shared a room, we shared clothes. I called her my sister. All these things we can't have together. The only thing is just no cilantro, obviously. You know it tastes like soap too. Hey, I'm at the airport. Where are you? I've been texting you. I, I don't... Where are you? Will you please call me? I don't know where you are. When we were 19, Amber was kidnapped. She was beaten and tied up. Some psycho thought she was his dead sister. And I knew where she was. I, I couldn't explain it, people didn't understand, but Amber and I knew, she said, she was just sending out, you know, her message to me, come find me, and. So good. I found her in this basement in Cleveland. We just like have a bond. We had a bond. Please call me. I don't know where you are. 